I'm calling you Ocean because I need a little bit of last minute advice. Never ridden a horse before and I'm about to get on a racehorse at Newmarket. If you've been following this series, you might know that I've already done a little bit of jockey training at the British Racing School down here in Newmarket. And that went, well, not great. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go on to the next one? You yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievably though, I've been invited back down to Newmarket to the yard of Hill Alcabisi, who is gonna let me get on an actual horse. Now you might think that's a bit dangerous, but Ben, the horse I'm gonna be riding, he is the go-to horse, very well known around Newmarket, very safe, so I'm told. I'm still very nervous. In fact, as we're filming this, my knees are a little bit shaky, uh, which isn't great when you're about to get on a horse that weighs about five tonnes and is strong as a horse. So yeah, as you can see, they're big beasts, they're powerful beasts, they're going to let me on one. So let's see what it takes to be a jockey, part two. I feel a bit awkward putting these boots on because they're so shiny and new, everyone else is like hard working boots. I've come in here, city slicker. I feel a bit daft, don't give you no idea. This is where the best of the best have, have trained, have cut their teeth. Essentially, it's like if you got brought on at half time in Champions League final for Man United or something. It's like, and yeah, you might have noticed I'm not quite as uh, not quite as cocky as I was at the start of the video. But <laughs> JJ, Dom. it's me again. How you doing, buddy? I'm back for more. You survived after the racing school. Your legs were alright. Well, uh, well, a bit yeah. stiff. Yeah. Are you excited for today, though? A real horse. I am. Uh, I must admit, I'm a bit nervous, especially yeah. now I've seen Ben. He's a bigger than he. He's a BFG though, he's, he's, he's a legend in Newmarket and he, he should look after you, but just um, yeah, make sure you hold him tight because you never know. He's pretty big, isn't he? <laughs> Are you ready though? But before we tack up, we're going to do a normal morning stable, okay. like what all the lads and lasses do. So that'll be brushing him down, picking up his drop-ins. What? Yeah, doing everything today. Um, picking out his feet, everything a stable lad or a stable lass will do, you're doing today before you get the leg up. You ready for it? Well, not Put that now. down first. <laughs> yeah. Put that Fine. down first, we'll okay. do everything, okay? Let's go. Hi, Ben. Ben. <laughs> that's, a, that's quite a small bit of string. That is a small bit of string. Is that going to hold this massive horse? I can't believe I'm doing this. What the heck, Ben? What do you eat? It's going through the fork. Oh, hang on a bit. A little bit there. Make sure it's all even. Lovely stuff, Ben. Good work. Right, so now we're going to brush him. So are they just spe are they special brushes or do I just use like a comb from Barbers? That's a big one. Start with a dandy brush. So then just brush its tail like that. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, you've got a nice tail, Ben. It's so smooth. It's almost like there's no hair there. It's his hind quarters as well. And that's the bit I'm a bit scared about. You might have noticed I was avoiding that. So obviously they put the shoes on to protect the hoof. They do, but yeah. How often do you need to change those? It all depends. Sometimes they, could, you know, sometimes they do become loose, and the farrier has to come in. Um, I, it, it all depends. It could be a few weeks, it could be a month, it could be a few days. So do you want to do the back two? The most dangerous two. The, the most dangerous two. I, right. I don't want to do it, so I'm making you do it. <laughs> okay? Don't go too close to him. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. Nice clean shoes. I've done it. I've done it. Right now, let's tack up. You ready? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really hot already. I've not even done it yet. <laughs> oh, there we go. There he is. Am I looking at? Do I look like a professional? You do, yeah, yeah. I'm calling you, Ocean, because I need a little bit of last-minute advice. Never ridden a horse before, and I'm about to get on a racehorse at Newmarket. Yeah. You'll be absolutely fine. Just remember to keep confidence. Uh, look between his ears and try and stay in the centre of the horse's back. You might be racing against me in a couple of weeks, who knows? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you lose a few pounds, certainly. Alright, alright. You've got a back protector on and everything, so, for example, if you did lose your balance and fall off, you won't hurt yourself. I'll be in touch with how well I've done, hopefully. Super, thanks, mate. Will do, cheers, mate. Alright, the next strap in the reins. Okay. Okay. That was the easy bit. Yeah. And yeah. just put this in its. the bit in. Okay. Put your finger in his mouth. Careful. Yeah. yeah, okay. 
Okay. How are we doing, Jess? We we haven't. It's all right. <laughs> we haven't done this. Really? One. <laughs> no. So I thought we were. I thought we were doing right, quite okay. well. Which way does this go? Uh, so this goes towards the back. Okay. Oh, I see. Make sure the flap and all your straps and everything is down. So okay. Rub him. Thanks, Jess. You're welcome. Good job. Are, they, are these a little bit high for me? Yep. <laughs> Jess is a very experienced. What, what's the official term? Coach. Riding instructor, of course. They're normally kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. My life is in Jess's hands today, and JJ's. So that's two people who are responsible. Why does he look bigger outside? <laughs> so remember, like this. My right hand. Hold on yeah. like that. Okay. Right, okay. Hold on to this. Okay. Right, okay. Right, so after three, you're going to jump, and then you're going to put this leg over. Okay, so you're gonna push yourself, so hold this. No, 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 pass me up this foot. Bend. Like that, bend over, go against, okay? And then it's one, two, three, and you've got to put that leg over, okay? Just keep your hand up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay? And then one, two, three. It's okay. So, Benny, 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 Benny. Let go, let go, Jamie. Oh. You're fine, you're fine. He's fine. Good boy. It's alright. I'll sort the out for you in a second. Was it a shock because I was quite heavy? We stop you and we'll put your feet in. Okay. Oh, you can have a cough. So this leg in. Good boy, Benny. Does that feel all right? Feels good. Right, keep your heels pushed down to the ground. Feel like you've got weights in the bottom of it. Okay. Same with this one. Does that feel okay? Feels good. All right, you're good to go. Right, I mean, of all places to ride a horse for the first time, yeah. this isn't too bad, is it? I can't imagine riding at speed. I mean, I'm quite scared just going at this yeah, speed. <laughs> You've got to lift up and down the saddle, not too hard. You've got to, don't bounce up and down on the saddle and put your weight on. Okay. Put your heels down and then slowly lift up and down, slowly lift up. Okay. Don't hit the saddle too hard. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. Is it okay to talk to him like it's a dog? Yeah, and you talk to him however you like. You might have noticed from the, from the first jockey training I did at the, uh, at the racing school, getting on the equisizer was, was quite taxing and quite something. But I cannot tell you, one, how nerve wracking, and two, how difficult it is to get on a real horse when you've never done it before. Appreciate just what jockeys are doing. They're getting on this massive beast. And then I've got to race him, you know, jump jockeys, I've got to jump them. There's the pressure of needing to win the race. To have all of that to think about, as well as controlling this massive, this massive athlete of an animal. Yeah, of course, there's, there's so much nerves. It's obviously, in, in a race, it's getting it right. So you've got the nerves of getting, getting it right. You'd, if you've sat on a horse for the first time, you don't necessarily know what the horse's temperament's like. It's, it's like anything in life. It's like riding a bike, isn't it? The more you do it, the more confident you feel. Well, that's true, but the bike's not alive. But it feels good, it feels really good to be, to be... I feel at one with the animal without sounding too cheesy and Discovery Channel. Do you want to trot with him? Ready? Just whenever you want, yeah? Try so nice and relaxed. Whoa. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Try and ride, keep your weight central. Okay. That's it, that's good. not bad. That's good. Keep your weight nice and central. Well done. Try to get up off the saddle. Try it. <laughs> so then, just done, buddy. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. I'm letting you go. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Okay. 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 Feeling confident? Yeah. I feel good. Feel good. Thanks, man. You're on your own. You're on your own. <laughs> He's on his own. Oh man, I'm gonna run the Grand National. <laughs> Good boy, Ben, good boy. So these are obviously just practice stalls. These are what, so new race horses will come into these just to practice and get used to the feel of them. Ben's an old hat at this, so he's, he's quite used to it. He's been a good boy for us today. Oh! He's out. <laughs> he's, a, he's a kidder, he's a good joker. He's got great banter, this horse. I mean, what a lovely horse and what an experience to be able to do it at Newmark. I mean, of all places to ride a horse for the very first time, the place where the likes of Lester Piggott and Frankie de Tori practice and, and, and hone their skills and now me I'm a I'm a name on that list now I can't believe I got on straight away I mean it wasn't straight away <laughs> it wasn't straight away there was a hesitation well, you you look panicked more than me I think <laughs>
Don't forget, for more great content like this, subscribe to Sporting Life down there. And for more content, including the other in the Dom Dust series, they're here. And more Sporting Life racing content down here.